Hi, I'm Rob from Twinfinity. Yes, Angie is with me. She's right there. I'm just doing just a quick little, um, just a little clip simply because we're at one of my favorite places in the world. This place is called the Great Divide. It's even got its own road marker. Actually, this is now a closed road. You only get to get here by either hiking or biking or snowshoeing or cross country skiing or uh, we just missed it, dog sled. Anyway, um, this video today almost didn't happen right here. I uh, just wanted to say that a, a radio station has decided that it was playing the top 1,000 country tunes of all time. And it was, it's approaching the, the, the final tunes towards like the very end of the countdown. And both Angie and I have been so interested in this that we barely even got out of the truck. It was blowing and snowy right at the parking lot and it kind of it kind of felt like just a really good day just to keep on driving but we came out here and did this anyway. What I wanted to really say though was on the way out here we were just oh well I definitely for sure I know Angie was too we were just kind of in a mode of listening to the tunes and reminiscing because you know these tunes covered like the past six decades and of course we've been listening to country music since well we were younger which isn't really very much of all those six decades to be honest so there were some tunes we knew and some tunes we didn't know very well and other tunes that were way too old and icky to be our favorite tunes but they were still good tunes and then there were some of the newer ones that brought back tons and tons of memories. And we were like, oh yeah, these are great songs at times. And we were listening away, we turn up the volume and we're having a great time. And it just uh, struck me as I was driving along there that it's really awesome that we're together and a few of these tunes are reminding us about our own past. Sometimes our past with each other and sometimes not. And it just made me real, real super grateful. And, and, I, and I know Angie caught this, what I'm gonna say next, but uh, she didn't comment on it and I didn't say anything about it, but it actually brought me to a couple of tears while I was driving that I was just so thankful for our opportunity to be out driving here in the mountains and listening to some of our favorite tunes. And it was just a really, really great moment to be together and to be alive. And uh, I was just super thankful. So yeah, I even shed some tears while I was driving today. And I figured that right here at the good old Great Divide would be a uh, great place to share that little story. So anyway, thank you, Angie. <laughs> thank you for being in my life. Aww, that's so nice. Uh, so anyway, um, now this. I feel like I should be in this. Yeah. See. <laughs> I'm so short. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I'm bending way over backwards, just trying to get our heads down to the same height. So anyway, uh, just as a final little note, this great divide also is, is if you wanted to bend it around into some form of spiritual. Uh, significance. This is a spot where not only is it the divide of the continent where Alberta and British Columbia are divided by the continental divide where any water that falls on the British Columbia side goes goes west towards the Pacific and any water that that falls on the Alberta side goes east towards the Atlantic. But there's also a little creek at this point that comes down the mountainside of course, it's hard to see a creek when it's covered in snow, but it comes down out that gap and right down where it joins onto a slightly larger waterway, it actually splits. And the water that splits down, well, what would, what would be the BC side goes into the Kicking Horse River and joins up with the Columbia River system and runs off to the Pacific. And the water on the other side of the of the few rocks and little shoal of rocks is on its way to the Bow River which joins the Saskatchewan River system and goes off towards Manitoba and into the Hudson's Bay towards the Atlantic. So anyway, it's a fantastic spot where where just like souls can divide and take their separate journeys for a while, so does the water. But it all eventually joins all back together in the ocean again it's just got to travel a long back way to join back up with itself. But hey, you know, it does that too. Anyway, 
thank you very much. Uh, this has been a fun little video to make. And uh, we now got to put ourselves all back together and head back towards our vehicle. We're yeah. only about a 45 minute walk away. I mean, snowshoe trip away. It's a fairly packed trail. We could probably walk it if we wanted. So anyway, from both uh, Alberta and uh, British Columbia, this is Twinfinity signing off. Have a good uh, time. At the Great Divide. Bye. Bye.